So Denise, this really is the heartbeat of Deniliquin, isn't it? It's the first port of call anyone should come to. It certainly is. It, um, it, we get lots of visitors from all over Australia and overseas. Um, and also local people coming in wanting information about other areas. Now the museum itself is incredible. It really captures the essence of Deniliquin and the Merino history. It does. Well, it's the backbone of Deniliquin really. It tells the importance of and the influence that the Pepin family had in the Merino industry in the 1850s, 60s and 70s. Now tell me about what's outside. Is there a jail that uh, we do. I need we to have, keep my eye um, out for? One of, the, one of the things that was brought in from uh, Wanganella was an old wooden one, per, well, one room jail. Still has the lock and bolts on the door and uh, when we have visitors here, they sometimes like to lock themselves in. So big enough for, for me of... to get rid of my crew for a night? Absolutely, yes. we can arrange that. Now don't try to tell me what to do again. Get in there. Get in there. Angela, let us out, please. See you next week. Edge! Edge, let us out! Oh, for some peace and quiet of a civilised meeting, maybe with Mayor of Deniliquin, the Honourable Lindsay Renwick, better known as Silver. Silver, Hi. how are you doing? I'm good, Ange. How are you? I'm good. And you're wandering around Denny finding all these little secret hidey hoes, eh? That's because I'm connected. Beautiful. To you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this beautiful town of yours. Ah, it's lovely, and I, I just think so, I'm so proud of the fact that you guys are here filming to show the rest of Australia just how beautiful Deniliquin is. You know, it's, uh, I've seen you before filming on the river and our, our waterways, our parks, and uh, we're very, very proud. It's a very, very go-ahead town. You know, it's one of those towns that uh, doesn't sleep. We have great fishing. We're, native fish are plentiful in Deniliquin and on the mighty Edwards River. And what are you likely to catch here? No native fish, um, but Murray Cod's a prime fish that everyone, all the, all the professional fishermen want the Murray Cod. Mm -hmm. The elusive Murray Cod, but there are plenty in Denny. <laughs> and you just want the biggest one, don't well, you? Well, yeah, it's amazing, and the whole world's changed. Where the old days where they'd, they'd actually catch those beautiful monsters and they'd take them away and eat them, nowadays they take their photo and put them back in the river. Kiss them goodbye. It is, and it's beautiful. And I think that's great the way that the sporting people have actually got this tag and release system. And I think it's it's that's why we're so healthy with the river. The fish are breeding so beautifully. So we're going to the RSL for a good feed. We're going to the Big Four. Is there anything else you should suggest well, we should the, do? Well, the Big Four is such a success story in itself. You mm -hmm. know, like it's only been it's been an old caravan park there since I was a little kid. And uh, to think that the the new people, the Big Four people, have come in and turned it into a spectacle that it is and it's 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 well it's Australia wide now and again and uh, wins winner. wins all the awards yep. every time Second I sort of in the pick up the Yeah, no, they've done a wonderful mm -hmm. job and and actually, you know, just to be able to sit out there on the side of the river in those magnificent caravans is perfect.